Is Perplexity AI really better than ChatGPT? In this video, I will be putting both models through my own tests in seven key metrics in order to find out which AI excels in each task. The AI that performs the best in each category will get one point. So by the end of the video, we'll know the final score and simultaneously which AI is truly better. In this round, we are going to test each AI's reliability of information. In order to do that, we are going to ask both models a relatively hard question explaining the scientific evidence supporting or refuting the health benefits of intermittent fasting. Perplexity's answer first explained what intermittent fasting is, then it mentioned all the changes that happen inside our body when we fast, and then gave us a list of health benefits that fasting provides. For the refuting evidence, it gave us a list of limitations and a list of considerations, and, at the end of its answer, a small summary that concludes that intermittent fasting is generally good for our health. That was a good answer, but let's see how it compares to the one ChatGPT gave us. ChatGPT's answer has a completely different format. It gives us a list with the health benefits of fasting, but each one is split in two different sections, one with supporting evidence and one with refuting evidence. But the context of the information is correct. They both seem to have pretty accurate and reliable information, so this round is a tie, and they both get one point. In this round, we will test the depth of knowledge of each AI model. In order to do that, we need to ask them some very hard questions that really go deep in complex topics. So I will ask, describe the philosophical implications of the word interpretation in the quantum mechanics. Don't worry, I don't understand it either, but we aren't testing my knowledge here. We are testing the AI's knowledge. This is the answer Perplexity AI gave us. First, it gives us some information about the history of quantum mechanics. Then we have multiple different sections explaining the topic in depth in a pretty clear and understandable way. Overall, a pretty good answer which showed that the model is knowledgeable on the topic. ChatGPT's answer has pretty similar structure as well, while going more in depth in the topic. As you can see, this answer has seven different sections, in comparison to the five Perplexity has and overall presents more information about the topic than perplexity. So this round goes to ChatGPT, and it gets one point. In this round, we will check both models' fact-checking abilities. I have heard from a lot of people that drinking coffee might actually be bad for your health. So let's ask the AI whether or not that is true. So we will type, is drinking coffee actually bad for your health, or is that just a myth? Perplexity AI gave me a very clear and straightforward answer. First, it gives us a list with the health benefits of coffee, and then a list with the potential risks, and then ends in the conclusion that moderate amount of caffeine is good for your health based on the facts which it presented earlier. And for each different information presented, it gave a citation to the specific source of that information next to text. Now, ChatGPT gave a very well-written and fact-based answer as well, with also more parameters in the health risks category, but I can't really pick a winner from these results, so I will ask another harder question. Provide a fact-checked answer on whether deforestation has increased in the Amazon in the past decade with sources. This time, Perplexity's answer is very good. It first talks about the deforestation in the past decade, and then it talks about recent developments that have been done to reduce it with each paragraph having a link to the source of the information. ChatGPT's answer is actually pretty similar in its content, and it also gives us some sources at the end. So I can't do anything else, other than to declare this round a draw. So they both get a point. In this round, we will test how recent is the information each model has access to. So for this one, I will ask both models, who are the two current 2024 presidential candidates in the USA? Perplexity AI gave me the correct answer, which is Donald Trump for the Republicans and Kamala Harris for the Democrats. On the other hand, ChatGPT, while it supposedly searched the internet, gave the wrong answer and said that Joe Biden was still running for president, which is incorrect, because in September, the Democratic nominee changed to Kamala Harris, which means that ChatGPT doesn't really have access to the latest information. So this round clearly goes to Perplexity, and it gets one point. In this round, we will test how transparent each AI is with his information sources. So we will go back to our first question about intermittent fasting, and we will simply ask the AIs, where did you find the evidence to support these claims? Perplexity AI gave us this list of where it found its information, and also in every answer it generates, it gives us a sources tab, where when you click it, you can see all of the sources it used in order to give you the specific response. ChatGPT also gave us all of its sources just in slightly different format by mentioning each part separately and then giving us the supporting evidence and then the refuting evidence for each one. But overall, I would say that both AIs were very transparent with their sources. So this round is a tie and they both get one point. In this round, we will test the AI's ability to handle contradictory information and give the correct take despite the incorrect information given to it. 
So for this example, I will ask them, is a low-carb diet better than a low-fat one? Perplexity's answer is very straightforward, telling us that low-carb diets tend to be better for weight loss in the short term. But in the long term, this effect fizzles out, and what really matters is finding a diet which you can adhere to long term. ChatGPT gave us a very similar answer, just in a slightly different structure, and ended with the same final verdict. I can't choose a winner with these responses. So, let's ask them a harder question this time. Some experts say that cholesterol is harmful, while others say it's essential for health. What's the correct view, and why do these opinions differ? Perplexity. The AIs first gives us some fact about cholesterol and the risks that are associated with it. Then it gives us the most important section where it explains the diverging opinions among experts and finally gives us a conclusion which states that the diverging opinions are because experts are referring to different type of cholesterols. ChatGPT's answer, while on the outside, does have similar structure and sections doesn't really have the correct information. And that's easily visible on the final conclusion where it doesn't really give the correct reason to why a lot of experts disagree. It just gives this vague and unclear answer, unlike perplexity, which states the reason very clearly. So this round goes to perplexity and it gets one point. In this round, we will test the AI's ability to understand the context of a specific situation and give a relevant solution for it. So let's ask them, what's a good place for a first date? Both AI's gave pretty good suggestions for fancier and more low-key options. But let's be honest, that was a very easy question. So let's ask a harder one. What were the historical causes and long-term impacts of the Great Depression, and how does this relate to modern economic policy? Perplexity AI gave a pretty good answer first outlining the historical causes, then highlighting the long-term impacts, and finally gave us the relation to modern economic policy, which is the part in which we can understand whether it understood the context of the question. Judging by what it wrote, it gave some accurate but basic information, and nothing that would really show that it deeply understood the context of the question. While ChatGPT's answer has a similar structure to Perplexity's answer, the content of its answers is way better and shows it understood the context of the question in a deeper level, especially in the lessons section, where it illustrates all the key lessons we learned from the Great Depression. It even goes in depth analyzing changes in specific government policies that the Great Depression caused, which is very impressive and shows that it fully understood the context of the question. So this round goes to ChatGPT, and it gets the point, and we officially have a tie, which means that both AI models are equally as good. They just excel in different categories, so you just need to pick the one that is best for your specific task. But there is also another popular AI tool that many people claim is better than ChatGPT on every task. If you want to find out how these tools actually compare, click on this video.